Higginbotham never lets a, a ball go, but uh, he's lost out to Lewis Morgan there. Looking for Riley. Riley's made a really decent run. It's over the top of the last defender. Riley is in. Can he take it past the goalkeeper? What's the decision from the referee here? He's awarded a free kick now. If it's a free kick, what colour of card is going to be shown to Sean Murdoch here? Riley should have went down earlier, to be perfectly honest. He should have went down for the challenge for the defender. At that point, he would have been sent off. Harsh on the keeper, to be, to be honest with you, because Gavin Riley's going wide, he can't send them off because of where the ball's going. It looked initially like Murdoch had taken the ball. Now, Charleston is going to go over and talk to his far side assistant. Let's have another look at this here, Stephen. No, he can't. Oh no, the keeper's got a touch. Has the keeper got a touch on that? I thought he took the ball. But it seems That's to be the far side assistant who does not see that point of view. And this is a big decision for Craig Charleston here. Is that a. Oh, I thought it was pointing to the penalty spot the for a keeper. second there. But, uh, it's definitely a free kick, definitely outside. Yellow, yellow card. card would be the right decision there. The last man rule does not apply anymore. So yeah. he obviously views it as because a clear goal scoring opportunity. Yes. But he was going away from goal, so it's. It's a difficult one for the referee. That's why That's why he's only produced the yellow card. Honestly, on that second unit, it looked like the keeper's got a touch on the ball. So a couple of strange decisions at either end already in the opening nine minutes here. It's a free kick right on the edge of the box. And there are three really good players there that you would bank on working the goalkeeper at the very least. I think Cammy Smith at the moment looks as if he's going to be the one to, to take it. He scored the penalty last weekend, of course. So 20 yards from goal. Looks like McShane is going to stand that's over maybe, this. Maybe 19 yards and as close to the box as that. 9.5 minutes on the clock. A big decision for Craig Charleston to make early on. He awards the free kick. What can McShane do from it? Uh, it was curling, but it was never going to dip in time to find the back of the net. But uh, some discontent from the St. Minnow fans maybe thinking that Sean Murdoch should have been ordered off as the free kick. Eckersley. Yeah, just has to turn away from goal for the moment. Davis is under pressure here from Declan McManus. Moves it on to Baird. Guinness offers and does well to spin away. And plays it in towards McShane. It might come out for Riley. And it's in from Cammy Smith. 37 minutes on the clock. The Dunfermline Santa will not be happy with that one. And it's Cammy Smith with his ninth goal of the season. And they are not a happy bunch in the away stand. Dunfermline exact. just couldn't get the ball cleared there. No, they couldn't. I mean, there was it's almost about three chances in the space of it. What was it? I think the first, first one, uh, Ian McShane puts the ball across. You think that he can maybe go for the shot. Gavin Riley then gets the touch on it to slow the ball down. You're thinking he's going to score. Cammy Smith's there to mop it all up, make sure that the ball goes in the back of the net. And again, it's gone to the wrong player. Well, McManus and Clark between them have scored 20 goals this season. Certainly no lack of striking prowess, but we haven't quite seen it from them today. Eckersley makes the challenge on the edge of the box. What's Craig Charleston going to do here? He has pointed to the spot, I think. Has he given a penalty there? Oh, I think he might have got that right. Almost looked as if he caught him. Well, there's a ruck that ruckus the between a number of players. Charleston has, I believe, pointed to the spot. He definitely did point to the spot, but the way Eckersley reacted to that, it looked as if he dived. Difficult. Let's, he's a much closer look at it now. Williamson progresses into the box. It's hard to tell from that angle if he catches him with his right foot. That's the, the I mean, thing here, but Eckersley's absolutely furious about the decision to give the penalty. It would be great to be over in the press box right now because they'll have a, an excellent view of it over there on the other side of the stadium. Once again, the referee talking to his assistant. This may be where the final decision is made here. Might, might reverse it, you never know. Might Shades get. of Tanner Dice in 2010 at the moment. That time Cammy Bell saved uh, three penalties in 45 minutes for Dunfermline. What is the decision that Craig Charleston has made? Is he I mean, he's pointed to the spot quite clearly. The ball is on the spot, but it, it, we're not sure really what's going on here. He hasn't made any movement to say that um, it's a free kick. It's a, it's a, he's, he has reversed the decision well. This is incredibly controversial here at the Paisley 2021 stadium. Craig Charleston had awarded a penalty to Dunfermline after consulting with his assistant on the far side. He has instead awarded a goal kick. A goal kick. It might be a free kick for diving maybe. For diving, yeah.